Hi everyone. Well, long time no see. It's Lexi here. I'm back after several times of several months of not being live, but I decided to go live very quickly today since I'm already already dressed to go out to and um, have my appointment with my doctor. And also because I've been thinking about a tip that I want to share with you, especially, well, particularly for those of you who are bloggers, especially if you blog on other people's websites, either as a guest blogger or as a paid blogger, like a professional blogger. <clears throat> So I don't know what I did. I clicked on something. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. All right. So um, it's been months since I did a, a live stream and my software, Ecamm Live, looks different than the last time I used it. It's got a lot more features, which is really cool. So what I, um, the tip that I want to share with you today is how to save your blog posts into PDF, okay? And I'm getting distracted because I just realized that I did not type a title or um, a description for this live, so you guys have no idea what I'm talking about, <laughs> most likely, um, if I'm just popping into your screen. But anyways, later on, this will have a title and a description. So before I show you how to turn your blog post into a PDF, let's go over why you would want to turn your blog posts into a PDF. Um, now, I've actually been doing this, <clears throat> first of all, to turn my blog posts into a content update, especially, so that's one reason, right? Like, that's the first reason. You want to turn your blog post into a content upgrade that you can offer, give your readers for free, um, either in exchange for their email address or not, like you can just decide if you just want to give it to them without them giving you their email addresses, that's fine too. Um, but this is really helpful, especially if your blog post is very long, like mine tend to be very long, just because I like to go in depth into a topic. So sometimes uh, these, my blog posts can be like extremely long, like 2,000, 3,000 words, the longest blog post that I've written is actually 10,000 words. And so those kinds of posts are, um, you know, it makes sense to, to turn them into a PDF and give your readers the option of downloading the PDF so that they can like read it even if they're not online. So that's reason number one. Reason number two is for posterity. So we tend to think like if we publish something online, it's going to be there forever, but it's actually only there as long as the website owner maintains the website. And it has happened to me before where I was contributing regularly. I was getting paid to contribute regularly to a blog and it was uh, actually quite a popular blog, but for some reason, uh, the website owner decided to take it down and I didn't know about this. So I wasn't able to save any of the posts that I wrote for that website, like for myself, right? And I do like write for a living and occasionally I need to send samples of my work. So then I can no longer use those posts as samples of my work because that website is completely gone. And um, there's another another thing that happened too was um, I worked for a company where I was blogging every week. I worked there as an employer, employee, excuse me, pardon me. And then after I left the company, the website owner removed my byline from all of the article articles or the blog posts that I wrote and just wrote like the company name, which is, you know, they are complete, it's completely within their rights to do that because I was an employee and therefore they, they owned all of the content that I created for the website as an employee. But still, you know, I can no longer say that I wrote those posts because my byline is no longer there. So those are 
um, two reasons I can think of why you would want to turn your blog posts into a PDF. Okay, so this is how you do it. It's very easy and you, it, you, it's using a free software, um, a free piece of, it's a free, I think it's a Google Chrome um, extension is what you call it. And um, I don't know if you're not using Google Chrome, if it has a different version like for other browsers or if it has like a standalone app. But what I'm showing you right now is Google Chrome, a Google Chrome extension. And um, this is called Print Friendly and PDF. So that's the name of this application. You're going to want to go ahead and get that application. It's free. So all you have to do is go to the blog post that you want to turn into a PDF. So I have here this post that I wrote uh, for Miracy, and I want to turn this into a PDF, particularly because this is one of my most successful posts on the Miracy blog in terms of the number of comments and the number of social shares. So the way you do it is after you get this print friendly and PDF, I chose to add it to my uh, what do you call this? It's like my web ex uh, extension bar. Sorry, I forget the technical term. But anyway, so just, all you have to do is click on this icon and this will pop up. What you have here, let me just get these things out of the way because I can't see my screen. So it starts, it shows you right away what your PDF is going to look like. And it captures everything, almost everything on the page. Um, <clears throat> so the thing is that you can, so as you can see, it has a title, it has the URL, it has the date when it was published. If you hover over these things, you will see this popping up and <clears throat> you can actually delete these elements. Like, I don't want this. I do I want the Miracy logo? Okay, I can keep the Miracy logo. I don't need to keep this line, right? And then it also captured like certain promotional things here that about a webinar. So I can, I'm just going to go ahead and remove that. And also the uh, breadcrumbs, I'm going to remove that. This is the uh, category. I could actually remove that as well. And as you can see, it also captures all the images that are on the post. And you can, as well as all the hyperlinks, these are all live links. And then at any time, you can just delete whatever you want to get rid of. Um, now, see, it also has, like, this is the content upgrade. A content upgrade for this post like if you want you can remove it or keep it there <clears throat> if you want to remember exactly what it looked like so this particular post does not have a lot of images only because it's so long and then oh this is is this an image hmm. So just go through your post. So this is an image. And again, you can delete images and see what things you want to keep, what things you want to remove, right? So for example, I want to remove uh, this footer. And for some reason, I'm not able to select this. But and if I delete this, that's going to include like the copyright information. Oh, okay. So it was just a matter of hovering over the right item. Okay. So the other thing that you can do too is see here, you can reduce or increase the font size of your P in, in your PDF. So I might want to, let's say, oh, it looks really long. Like why don't I make it 70%? So as you can see the font, in the PDF has gotten smaller 
and you can make it bigger, up to 130%. Oh, ooh, that's too big, so let's keep it at 100%. And you can do the same thing for the images in your post. You can reduce the size of the images. For example, if you have like just stock photos and they are taking up too much space in the PDF, that you can reduce them. But this is global, right? You have to do it, if you do it for one image, it'll apply to all the images on the post. So, okay, I'm happy with what my, my thing looks like, my PDF looks like. From here, I can print it, I can save it as a PDF, or I can email it. So I'm gonna save it as a PDF, and then click on download your PDF to save the file into your computer. And that's it. Um, I've, uh, <laughs> hang on, I cannot see how to switch back to my myself. So that's it. That is how you save a blog post into a PDF using a completely free tool. It's fast. It's easy. So who's watching? Please say hello so I know you're there. Um, that is the only way. Like You have to post a comment. That's the only way that I know you're here. So say hi. Oh, hi, Felicia. Hi, Felicia. <laughs> I hope that um, Felicia says hello. Hello, thanks for dropping by. I don't know how much you caught, but I just showed how to turn your blog post into a PDF using a free uh, Chrome extension. So it's really easy. And if you have any questions, please just post them below this video. And I'll see you around. Bye, have a nice day.